Morning. Morning. You're going to be late, Jay. I know. Someone wouldn't let me give up this morning. Mm. 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 Mel. Yeah, uh, it's the fifth time this morning on a Sunday, so obviously something's going on. Uh, fine. I think so. But I'll see you for lunch? Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Love you. MI5 officers who had been following inquiries on a person of interest. This led them to a flat in Bristol where the area was evacuated in the early hours of this morning. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Look, James, you better have something to impress me this morning. I've got every suit above my pay grade breathing down my neck to fill the entire six o'clock show tomorrow. And where the hell have you been? I've been trying to call you all morning. Seriously, what do we pay you for? This is the news, people. We don't want everyone who isn't interested in how many... Stylists it takes to whip Boris's beautiful mop into shape. Falling asleep or turning over to watch some jumped up chef throw pesto in a pot. So, unless between now and tomorrow, her Majesty is spotted running into Tesco singing, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I suggest you lot go out and find me something. Let me go to get my heart tired. Comprende? Go on, get down. James, a word. Look. James, I hired you over here. I took a risk on you. And I've got people asking me why. I need a reason to keep you here. And to be honest, I'm struggling to find one right now. I need something from you. Yeah, I'll, I'll come out with something. I promise. Good. Well, that's it. Off you go. basically said if I don't come something on the news tomorrow, I'm gone. You can come up with something though, right? There's got to be an idea on one of your million bits of paper lying around the flat. I always dream that one day I'd be hosting this, you know, reporting on the big breaking news story, but it's never going to happen after today. Off my arse, I'm slowly working my way up. I thought I was actually going somewhere, but I just took a brick wall, getting coffees for someone who hung to know my name after a year of working there. You'll get there, James. You've just got to hold on to what drove you to do this in the first place. I remember that excitement you used to have when you come in with something amazing you were going to write up. Like an excited puppy. Or practicing presenting in front of the mirror with my hairbrush. Come on, I remember that spark, that crazed look in your eye you used to have. You just need that back. You can do this. You're right. Where are you going? I'm going to keep my job sitting here all day, am I? <laughs>
Oh, bye. Where are you going now? Sorry, aren't you, um... What? Blind? Yes, I am. And you, my friend, are very heavy-footed. <laughs> <laughs> so, how can I help you? Unless, of course, you really do want your money back. Um, so I don't mean to bother you, but I, I uh, just having a really bad night and sort of losing my faith in myself and humanity in general. Wow. We can't have that now, can we? And um, while it's still in the interest of goodwill and human kindness and all that, I'd stop and say hello to someone who I probably would never even have noticed in my normal everyday life. No offence, man. None taken. Do you know, I've stood here every day for the last five years, and you're the very first person to stop taking the time to chat. So, uh, why do you come down here, if you don't mind me asking? Well. It's better sitting in the house watching telly all day, isn't it? <laughs> you might be losing faith in humanity, but I ain't. I stand here every day collecting hundred pounds a week for charity. Now that's human kindness. See, people who I ain't never met before, they don't stop and chat, but they take the time out of their busy lives just to throw some change in behind. And that in turn helps others, whatever way, big or small. Now, I think that's just inspiring, don't you? When did you lose your sight, if you don't mind me asking that is? 7th of July, 2005. So, I'm so sorry. Right. I don't mind. I don't mind talking about it. Yes, I was there. I lost my sight. But I tell you what, every day when I come down here, I show the world, and then few cowards, I ain't afraid anymore, and neither should anybody else be. You know, earlier you said that people giving you money was inspiring. I'd just like to say that you, God, you coming down here and entertaining everyone after, after what you must have been through, I mean, that, that is truly inspiring. Well, it was nice meeting you, sir, and uh, I promise to stop and say hi every time I walk past. Thank you. That was a report from our very own Jamie Hawke. 
However, since recording that interview, we have had tragic news that Jamie was involved in a car accident outside a central London tube station in the early hours of the morning and was tragically killed by a hit-and-run driver. We all here at CNS are deeply saddened by news and our thoughts are with our family. Police are appealing to any witnesses who are following all lines of inquiry. Hey, honey. Um, I'm sorry to wait to you, but I just want to let you know I'm OK. Um, I'm really sorry I went off the radar today, but uh, it's OK. I found this amazing guy. For a great career as a journalist and reporter.